Konnichiwa. It's me, Janice from Japan. Thank you for joining me in my channel, Japanese Foodies with Janice. So today, I'm going to show you how to cook Japanese tonkatsu. It's a very popular dish in Japan. It is well loved by adults and children. So basically, it is a deep fried pork cutlet coated with flour, egg, and uh, breadcrumbs or panko. Okay, so it is usually eaten with shredded cabbage with mayonnaise and tomatoes and also cucumber. And in my case, I like to eat my tonkatsu with karashi or Japanese mustard and also the famous tonkatsu sauce, okay, which you can buy at any convenience store or uh, supermarkets near you. Don't forget to like share and comment because i would like to know how you find tonkatsu do you like it and if you have any requests about japanese uh, recipe that you want me to share to you please do so and write it in your comments okay stay with me until the end so let's get going before we begin make sure you hit the subscribe button to get notification for my new videos Here are the ingredients to make tonkatsu. Pork loin, 3 slices. Red crumbs or panko. Flour. And egg. Salt. And black pepper to taste. Tonkatsu is usually eaten with cabbage. Remove the stem. Slice the cabbage into strips. Or you can use a vegetable shredder. Just be careful with your fingers. Put in water to crisp it up. Make slits between the fat and the meat so that the cutlet will not curl when deep frying. Make slits on the back side as well. Pound the cutlet to tenderize using the meat pounder. Or you can use the back side of your knife. Don't tear the meat because the meat juices will come out when deep frying. Season with salt and black pepper on both sides. Then put back the cutlet to its original shape. Let's get our coating ready. Flour. Egg. And breadcrumbs or panko. If you don't have it, you can grate a frozen slice of bread or shakopan. Press the meat gently. The more breadcrumbs, the crunchier. Let's cook. Then what's good in my show?
for the meantime, let's drain off the water from our cabbage. Here we go! Don't put more than one, especially if your pot is not big. The oil temperature will drop if you put too much. Deep fry on each side for 2 minutes or more or until it turns golden brown in color. Pour oil on the surface to cook evenly. Put some katsu on a fry rack vertically to allow oil to drain. Remove the breadcrumbs to clean your oil. Cut through the meat gently so as not to break the breadcrumbs. Sounds so good and crispy. Now let's check. It looks so tender and juicy. Aside from cabbage, you can also garnish cherry tomatoes and lemon or any vegetables that you like. I like to eat my tonkatsu with mustard paste. It gives a delicious kick to it. Then the tonkatsu sauce which you can buy from any supermarkets near you. There you are, it's ready! Or you can serve your tonkatsu sauce on a separate dish. And don't forget your mayonnaise. It's ready! Dekeagari! Let's eat! Itadakimasu! Thanks for watching! Arigatou gozaimashita!